So this is how you read a chord box. I've got page nine open here in front of me. I'm going to put it on my lap like this. You can put it on a table as long as it's in front of you. So I'm looking at the chord box now and we have uh, six lines going across um, horizontally and the string, the line that's closest to me is the thickest string as you can see here and the furthest away from me the string is the thinnest string, the first string. And uh, the lines that go uh, vertical are the frets and these are the frets here. So the anchor finger for the chord of E is the index finger. So I'm going to put my index finger on the first, second, third string behind the first fret. And the next uh, finger I'm going to use is the middle finger and it's going to go on the fifth string, second fret. And then the ring finger is going to tuck underneath on the fourth string, second fret. The more you read chords and read chord boxes, the quicker your mind will be able to put it all together and you'll be able to do it straight away. So this is the chord of E and this is how you read a chord box.